Dude, I've been running the stag for a little bit of time now, and it has just been working flawlessly. Been very impressed with them. In fact, I'm gonna give them a call, see if they actually wanna come and visit us. Yo, what's up, Clint? Hey, man. So, I've been looking over your rifles. They've been working well. You're sponsoring the video series. You should come visit us and uh, be in a video. Yeah, I knew you'd love them. I'm gonna be right there. Oh, okay. All right, I'll see you soon. See ya. All right, so what's going on? Uh, dude, I brought my rifle. All the way from Wyoming? Yeah, man, it was easy. Oh, that's fantastic. The wind blew me here. <laughs> Let's talk about stag <laughs> arms. Welcome back everybody, Clint here today with Classic Firearms, here to bring you our next manufacturer review. This time, it's of Stag Arms, and you guys might be aware that Stag is currently sponsoring our build series, and they were actually kind enough to fly a couple of individuals down here, one of which being Auburn. Thanks, man. Yeah, thanks, man. For Absolutely. Us. So first of all, I'm just gonna go and throw this out there. Auburn wouldn't be here, and we probably wouldn't be talking about Stag if I actually didn't think there were some quality products here. Just throwing it out there, because when Stag, I've always kind of known about Stag, but I just really didn't really ever pay much attention to them. Then it seems like in these past couple of years, you guys are just blowing up. I see all these different types of new ARs coming out and everything, and I'm like, man, I should really take a couple of these out to the range, and we did, and then I was like, dude, these are actually pretty solid. They work, they're lightweight, they're affordable, they're quality, and I've been a fan. So uh, awesome for you to guys to actually sponsor the build series, and also, too, to come out here and you know talk about your guns. So while we're at it, let's talk about some guns. Obviously, we've got a M4 style here. Do you want to talk a little bit about this guy? Yeah, so the M4, as you can see, you know, kind of your traditional rifle and what we want to kind of clarify into our Stack 15 series and the retro series. So you got your typical clamshell. Yeah. Um, it's a 16 inch with all the A2 furniture. Um, so, so, and then your chrome false barrel, but we're, yeah, really pumped on that. We also have that in what we call the actual retro, which is the M16 and a 20 yeah. inch. So pretty much the same version. Um, that one actually comes with a heavy barrel, so yeah. compared to this one. Right, which is pretty solid setup. Yeah. So the M16 Retro, is that is that more like a flat top like this also? Yep. Yeah, yeah that's awesome. Yeah, they're sweet. Yeah. I love them. No, I'm yeah. a fan of that for sure. And like you said, it comes with the A2 furniture, so adjustable M4 stock that you guys see right here. And the, the, the aesthetically pleasing, but not exactly most ergonomic A2 grip. And if you guys have been watching the channel for any length of time, you know my love for the A2 grip. Every time I get the chance, I replace it. But on something that is correct to what's issued, something like that, that makes the most amount of sense. And I do like it. And if you want to go with something that's a little bit more modern, I guess you could consider it, something that has a free floated rail, you've got the Stag 15, right? Yep. So yeah, go over the Stag 15 a little bit. Um, what we call the tactical series right here. Um, there's a lot of different variations in our Stag 15 series, but the tactical is something unique. Uh, this has got the SL stock on it. Um, as you can see, the Mo grip, so a little bit better than the A2 grip. Yeah, a little bit. Uh, yeah, still, still got, you know, just some similar similarities between the two, your 16 inch, but this has the free float handguard. So uh, a lot different, so a better option for some people. Um, yeah, a little, a little bit more modular with the M lock rail too, stuff like that. A lot that. more modular yeah, but That's not to say though with these guys with the Delta rings, if you wanted to pop on some aftermarket rails too, um, uh, I know there's Picatinny rails you can throw on uh, M lock also, which yep. is fine. But some people, you know, I personally do like the carry handle and front side post vibe. I do quite a bit. I do, however, also like a little bit more high speed efficiency right. of the Stag 15 with the M-Lock rail, the Magpul furniture, definitely preferable. And, uh, but you know, I, I like them both, but they come in different configurations, different colors even. Yep, so this guy, and same with their whole Stag 15 series, uh, which we have in the pistols um, from your seven and a half inch, your 10 and a half inch, and then also your others. Um, and the Lee others are SPR, which is an 18 inch, but they do come in like the FDE version, so, I uh, have one right here, it's a personal one. Yeah. Quickly show you guys this. So we do have the Cerakoted, the FDE um, over the Anodize. Really love the FDE, this is my favorite one. Yeah. My bougie setup is what, <laughs> what I guess you guys are saying. So um, yeah, there's there's uh, options as far as what people want. We also are gonna have what we have, the Stag Select Series. So 
Right now we have, uh, it's like a custom Cerakote stuff that we're working on. So hope, hoping people have more options as well. So. Well, if you guys want to send one of those my way. I right. Wouldn't, I wouldn't complain, but you <laughs> no. also took this guy uh, hunting recently, right? Yep, took this up hunting in Wyoming for some white-tailed deer. Um, first time ever hunting with an AR. Um, I'm blown away. The fact with an AR, you get a lot more precision. Yeah. Um, you know, it's just a unique experience, you know, adding the suppressor. Of course, didn't have the light to go right, hunting right. with, but just making it a, uh, I think a, a little bit more, um, what, like you said, modular yeah. way to go about so, things. So number one question is, uh, you took it hunting. Did you actually get anything with it? I did. I oh, got a deer. Solid. Yeah, no, yeah. it was awesome. Yeah, <laughs> sweet. Yeah, headshot at a deer. So it was pretty sweet. <laughs> nice. As long as I was zero within a hundred yards, yeah, right. that was good. Yeah. yeah, that's awesome, man. Well, sweet, dude. So yes, Stag 15 rifles that we've got here. He's already talked about too, the AR pistol lineup that you have, yep. the retro lineups, which I think are super cool. And there's also some 308s we've got here, right? We got 308s. Before we get into 308s, just want to mention all of these do come in the left-handed versions. Oh, yeah. Um, right. So these, you know, you got the options as far as your, your FD for both the 15 um, tacticals. The M4s, unfortunately, don't come in that as far as the FDE options, but it is. Well, uh, I don't. I haven't seen the military issue a whole yeah, lot of left-handed. No. You know. <laughs> that'd be that'd be cool. No, but they, those are lefty. They, they yeah. just don't have the Cerakoted option. Oh, gotcha. Yep, okay. Yep, so. gotcha. Yeah. Well, very cool. And you guys, uh, when it comes to like the left-handed firearms, left-handed ARs, I mean, y'all didn't like think of that at all, right? No, I mean we're only the pioneers of it. So <laughs> since 2003, it's been yeah. amazing to see. Uh, I guess really quick explain kind of the history of that. So sure. SAG was the pioneer of the left-handed AR. Um, we're continuing to be innovative in what we're trying to do to, you know, expand that on the lines with uh, all the different variations that we have. Um, I am excited to kind of see what we're going to be producing in the future mm -hmm. um, as far as making the left-handed stuff a little bit, you know, I'd say you're more of the ambi stuff. So yeah. wink, wink. Yeah. Um, yeah, no, but I think uh, in, in, on the sense of this, you know, Stag went from Connecticut to Wyoming. So as okay. you can see, we the Connecticut lower markings had the derp deer, the derp deer. over <laughs> what we call the really cool deer, yeah, like right. now the mean deer. But yeah. I think just as far as branding and symbolic stuff, we're really pumped to see um, our new stuff with the Wyoming mark now that we're in Cheyenne, Wyoming. So Dude, that's solid. And yeah. speaking of which, so it sounds like you guys got quite a bit of property out there to go shooting on and stuff. I mean, it's pretty open spaces. Yeah, we got a lot of cool ranges, long ranges. I'm, I'm, just, yeah. I'm just fishing for an invite, that's all. Yeah, come come out, man. Okay, we'll take cool. you there hunting and we'll go do some cool stuff, yeah. <laughs> all right, cool, man. So let's go ahead and uh, you good to show us some 308s now? Yeah, so yeah. Yeah, let's bring some 308s on the table. So now we've got these Stag 10s, right? Yep. So the Stag 10s, we've got them chambered in 308, but you do have a 6.5 Creedmoor chambering too, offering, yeah. right? Yeah, we do. That's pretty awesome. So we'll talk more about that stuff here in a moment, but once we got the uh, Marksman in, that's what this one is, right? Yep. Once we got the Marksman in, I was like, dude, this is pretty so this is a pretty slick looking little setup. Threw the VCOG on it, took it to the range, shot it, loved it. And uh, it's been a trooper too, because it, it shoots really well. And also too, I just want to throw this out there. the VG6 Gamma brake on this guy is a phenomenal little brake that also does a pretty good job at flash suppression due to the ports at the top of the brake, which I thought was kind of interesting. But uh, anyway, okay, it's your show. I'm over here. <laughs> no, you're still in it. So tell us a little bit about these guys. Yeah, so um, we have what we call the Stag 10 series, which is broken up between the 308 and your 6.5 Creedmoor. Um, we break it kind of into what's your tactical, your marksman, and your long range um, into each. So really the on your 308 series, your tactical is just anything from the 16 inch, 18 and 20 inch. And that's where you're, you've got your tactical marksman and long range out yeah. of that. Um, as far as the, I guess it's not a 6.5, but when you have the 6.5, it goes into the 20 inch, 22 and 24 inch, which yeah. is kind of same thing, tactical marksman and long range. I think they really kind of explain themselves, right? For yeah. the versatility Makes of what sense. you want out of them. Um, I mean, they're same thing, come with the slimline handguards. Um, you know, they. We like to use Magpul's furniture, the yeah. Mo grips, and then- That stuff's proven, and yeah, it's good, it's quality. Split yeah. them up between the SLS stock, the PRS stock, and yeah. your Mo stock. So um, yeah, we're really, really happy with them. And as you get into the 6.5s, they come with two stage triggers over the, the single stage trigger. Yeah. Um, I know one of our um, additions, as far as that, comes with the nickel boron trigger, um, okay. just like kind of the other Elite, which comes with the nickel boron two stage trigger, so. Gotcha, yeah. I, just, I just wanna show you guys too, this trigger, uh, it's it's clean. So first of all, this is the two stage trigger on the long range, right? Yep. And this guy here, we'll see we got just a little bit of take up before we hit that obvious wall, applying a little bit more pressure. Solid drop. That feels great. And then let's go ahead and feel that reset. 
short travel and you can you can just barely feel where it's gonna be like okay this is the reset this is oh, it yeah. right here it's nice and crisp and then on the marksman we have the mil spec single stage right yep so the single stage on this guy as most of you probably know uh, that the single stage you just apply even pressure all throughout the pool there is no w obvious wall and some people prefer that over the break because a lot of people like to be kind of surprised by the break they think it makes it more accurate talk to just about any marine coach that's what i've always heard and i'm like okay well, you know, whatever but anyway so the single stage apply just thorough yep there it is that is nice and yeah. then the reset yeah, that is solid. Very similar reset to the two stage. Nice, clean, and crisp. Oh yeah. I mean, we, we really want these to be, you know, uh, capabilities for everybody from hunting to target shooting to, you know, whatever you're trying to do, if it's competition shooting. Right. Um, and then same thing, we have different variations in your FDE, uh, your compliance states that we really like to focus on. So um, I think the fact that we have a bunch of options available for everyone in the market, it's a perfect thing. And then the other thing is, um, they don't come with this big old round on the on the yeah, tens. They I, come, I, yeah, yeah, I do that. Yeah, yeah, that's <laughs> fair. They they always come with a, a ten round mag and yeah. the three hundred eights, and then the fifteens, depending on what state they're in, um, get you know different variations of right. the magazine. But these are the Gen threes that they come with. So really pumped on the P mags. Yeah. yeah. And there's one other one too that we kind of wanted to show since we just celebrated the Marine Corps birthday. This is actually uh, your buddy's rifle, right? Yeah. And he's got it nice and set up with some Marine Corps coloring here. We've got obviously the nice red charging handle, some gold accent, and even the serial number ends in 1775, which I think is, oh, well, yeah, it's I mean, purposeful for, for, sure. for any Marine watching, they're already yelling, you know, my Marine Corps came alive in 1775 and you know, hoorah, kill devil dog. Yeah, I already know a lot of you guys are over there just typing on the keyboard, eating your crayons, getting all excited about it and yeah. everything. But anyway, that was me, that was me, typing really on the keyboard, getting you. excited. <laughs> about it yeah right simplify guys anyway so this is a pretty sweet setup are you guys gonna offer anything similar to this or are you guys showing off you know pretty much what you can make yours into yeah I mean just really what you can make them into like I said on the wink wink there's there's some things we're working on okay. as far as maybe right. some upgrades but I mean as far as right now the line is it, it is it's high quality it's awesome um, our lefties you do have the, the lefty safety selector that yeah. on that option where it does flip both sides um, but for now, just leave it up to the consumer to do whatever you want with it. You can upgrade what you need, just like yeah. any AR. So that's pretty solid. Yeah. So uh, as as Auburn has hinted at here, you guys might want to be keeping up with Stag Arms on their social media and everywhere else because it sounds like they might have some pretty neat things coming in the future. And you guys. Do you have a social media presence? Yeah, we do. You can go to at Stag Arms and come check us out. And like you yeah. said, on the website, kind of see what we're doing. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, which is uh, growing every day. Yeah, yeah, awesome, dude. Well, that's fantastic. So check these guys out. And again, I, I really do like this setup. That's a solid looking rifle for sure. And I am a fan of the Magpul PRS stocks. These are just solid, again, precision rifle stock, yeah. but more do you need. Adjustable comb height, adjustable length of pull. So I'm glad you guys go with Magpul furniture right. on uh, these. A little bit higher end. Um, I want to say that as far as quality and I guess when some of the parts that you guys throw on there because honestly the affordability again I don't think there's any compromise you're just getting a good gun for a good price and that's why we invited these guys out here to actually like shoot these things because if they sold us crap I wouldn't have invited them. <laughs> yeah no I think it's good and yeah throw some skittles in the butt end of that stock. And, oh yeah, yeah dude, you're ready to rock and roll and you got some snacks that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, absolutely. Awesome well hey last gun that we got kind of set up a little similar here that I want to talk about is our current giveaway the Aero Precision M5 and you, and you know those guys a little bit right actually I'll take this guy yeah, out. Absolutely. And you know uh, Aero Precision kind of right? Oh yeah we know them we know yeah. them pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> See. Well, that's, that's awesome. We're cousins or brothers, whatever you want to go, go with. Yeah, <laughs> fair enough. <laughs> but what we've got here, guys, is the Air Precision M5, also featuring the VG6 Gamma brake, like I've mentioned before, I am a fan of. We did go with uh, Magpul furniture as well. As you can see, the PRS, FDE, MOE, and also to the FDE bipod. And even, I know it's not FDE, I'm sorry, we didn't have one, but the angled foregrip on this guy uh, is super ergonomic and comfortable to shoot with. And the EOTech three and a half to 18 power first focal plane optic is solid. If only I could shoot as good as this optic looks, we'd be really, really rocking right. and rolling. But anyway, head on over to classicfirearms.com to get your entries. Code word arrow to get yourself a couple hundred extra entries. And don't forget to refer your friends and family because that's like 
what gets you the most amount of entries through one entry method. Don't miss out. And of course, check out Stag Arms. Auburn, thanks again for coming out, yeah, man. Thank you, Clint. Appreciate yeah. it. You got it, man. And guys, as always, we appreciate you and your business. God bless. And we'll see you next time at ClassicFirearms.com.